In a previous tutorial, we created a native Flexbox three column page template example down here in the bottom. So the question was asked, can that be delivered with Bootstrap? In this tutorial, we'll be having a look at the suite of responsive Flexbox utilities that Bootstrap offers. And we're gonna replicate the Flexbox native example from a previous tutorial uh, with Bootstrap. Looking at the native Flexbox example, we enabled flex on a container and then we defined wrap so that the items, the child items would wrap the page and then fall on top of each other. We then continued and applied a 100% width almost on all the containers. And then we used an app media to then control the different sizes. So we used flex grow one and two to change the different sizes of the um, elements and then we also had an order list. So that managed the control of when the items folded at a smaller screen size and then moved up. So we need to just basically replicate this with Bootstrap. So obviously make sure you've got the Bootstrap CSS. Um, the first thing we need to do is basically create a Flexbox container and to then transform that those direct ch children elements into flex items. So for this, we basically just using deflex. So in Bootstrap, we're using deflex. Uh, so it's the same as display flex. See where the D comes from. And then obviously the next thing we need to do is then to actually wrap. So we simply just use flex wrap. So that then controls the wrap. So next up, we make the child elements. So I've made them in the same way as the initial example. And we've got a padding around, or we're using a padding too for these elements from Bootstrap. And these class names here just refer to the CSS at the bottom here, just changing the color so we can see what we're doing. So that example there is going to look like this. So you can see that flex is enabled. And now we need to create the shape. So in the original Flexbox example, we use flex basis to generate some of the different sizes. Uh, so with Bootstrap, we don't need to do that because we've already got elements built in. So we can use uh, curl, for example, so curl 12. We know the header needs to be the full width. So we just then change the header and footer to be the, the full width. So we can see now looking at example that pretty much uh, finishes the header and footer. So next up, we need to uh, configure the order. Well, that really is just using order. Um, so similar with the example, we use order. So with uh, Bootstrap, we've got order dash, and then the number. So the header is number one. We've got sidebar on the left hand side. And then we've got the sidebar on the other side, which is going to be four, because we want the main to be in between. So that's going to be three. And then the last one is going to be five. So let's take a look at the order now. So now we've got it in order. So really the next thing we need to do is scale this up in the middle. So there's two ways that we can manipulate these scales here. Again, we can use the column uh, the bootstrap columns, but we don't need to use it for sides. So what we can have is we can define the size of the main and then let flex auto adjust the sides, or we can configure the sides. Now, because we're using bootstrap, it's probably better to use the column widths. So let's add some default column widths for the left hand side. We have three and then the right hand side, we're going to use a, a column spacing. We utilize three column spacings. And then the main's going to be utilizing then six. So even with just applying that, you can see that um, we now have the shape in place. So just to give you an example, if we just remove the curl three on the sides and then just change it with flex grow one, um, we will find that that then will grow and utilize all the space that's left after the, the main um, column as size to column six. So go back in the example again, if I refresh, you can see that it's just the same. 
So we now just need to consider how we're going to get this to break. You can see that the Flexbox native example breaks at a smaller screen size and all the elements are then piled on top of each other. So in order to do, to do that, we're just using Bootstrap here. So back in the code, all I need to do is define the default width um, for these elements, 12. And then on the left hand side, I'm just going to need a, a, maybe a medium width. I want that to be three and the same then on the right hand side and then the main section as it scales up uh, to the medium size we want this to be six so going back in the example there we go we've then got a responsive design so to finish off this example we just need to now manipulate the order at this size so it's just a case of now going back into the code here. So we've got order one. That's always going to be order one. Here, this is going to be order two only at the medium size. And then this is going to be at the medium size three. But the original, at the smaller size, we want this order to be number two. And we want this one here to be order uh number three that's going to be four and that's going to be five there we go so header main side side footer and then as we scale up it then goes back into the default position